Hi everyone, this is Walker with Mini Scientific Instrument Service, and today we're going to be showing you how to add a fluorescence attachment to your BX series microscope. Maria is going to be giving me a hand, pointing out what implements you need, and going over the procedures with us. So the items you can need are, of course, your BX series microscope. Today we're using the BX51. The 3mm Allen wrench included in the upper right-hand corner of the stand. A 4mm T-handled Allen wrench. It doesn't have to be T-handled, but we find that helps give you a little extra leverage. And a small pick tool. doesn't really have to be a dental pick like we're using, but uh, just a small pointy object to help remove some adhesive caps. Of course, you're also going to need your fluorescent lamp house and the fluorescent attachment itself. All right, we're going to go ahead and zoom in and get started. First thing we're going to be doing is removing the nose piece. Just go ahead and grab your 3mm wrench and get loosen the screw just a few turns and then slide the nose piece off so it's out of the way. You also want to remove your head. We've already gone ahead and done that in the video. If you need to figure out how to do that, we have a few videos on our web page that will uh, show you how to do that. Go ahead and set that to the side. You'll be needing it again later. Okay, the next step in the process is going to be going ahead and removing the original top plate. You're going to use your pick tool to remove the little adhesive caps covering up the bolts. We've already done that for most of them. We're just going to go ahead and demonstrate on one more so you can see the process. And go ahead and set those caps next to the original bolt holes just so they don't get lost. Now you're going to grab your wrench and you're going to, again this is the formula wrench, and you're going to grab your wrench and start loosening up the bolts. We're going to have Maria do that real quick and we'll cut back when she's uh, ready to take out the last one. Okay, as you can see, there is uh, I'm doing that last bolt, and once it's out of the way and you've got your hand underneath the end of the original top plate, just go ahead and lift it out of the way and set it off to the side. Now we're going to move on to installing our fluorescent attachment. So here we have our fluorescent attachment. We're going to go ahead and use our little pick tool to remove the four covers over the captive screws in the top of this attachment. And once we get those out of the way, it only takes a second to pop them out, you'll be able to bolt on your fluorescent attachment to the original stand. Just move this up these caps off to the side so you don't lose them. Next, we're going to be showing you how to put this attachment on top of the microscope. So now that we've got everything prepped and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and get everything installed. So real quick, Marie's going to lift this up and turn it over, and we're going to show you a couple of important features. So if you look at the bottom in the pattern in the metal, you'll notice there is a small little uh, slant piece that she is pointing at. This is a key mark that matches up with another one on the base. That helps you get everything aligned and put in the right position. So when you place the illuminator on top of the stand, you want to line those two up and then pull it to the back, to the right, or push it to the back and the right in your case. That way everything will line up as it's supposed to and everything will be uh, aligned for when you start attaching your objectives and things like that. So once it's in position, you take your big 4mm wrench and slide it down into those bolt holes and just start threading them in place. We're going to let Maria go ahead and get those all tight. You just want to snug them up. Don't crank them down too tight as you could risk stripping the bolt out. Okay, you see Maria's got them all tightened up. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next portion. We're going to have her go ahead and replace the caps on the top of the stand so that uh, those bolt holes are covered. Now we're going to be attaching our fluorescent lamp house. So you're going to need your 3mm wrench and we're going to zoom in real quick here and we'll show you the 3mm holes on the stand. There's one of those on either side. Those are to hold in the lamp house and you just want to give those a few turns, make sure everything is snugged up tight. And remember don't over tighten so nothing gets stripped out or nothing gets damaged. And once it's done with, go ahead and give it a little wiggle, make sure everything's tight, nothing's going to pop out of position. 
And uh, now we're going to move on to the next portion, which is just uh, reinstalling your nose piece. So Marie's going to go ahead and slide the nose piece on and give it a few turns with, this, with the uh, three millimeter wrench so it's all in position. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please have a good day. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. We're happy to help.